Hi Twin Flames, welcome to this community, my name's Sophia. So what I was picking up was a, a kind of a stuck energy. So I'm feeling that some of you are trying to figure out what's your next move. I feel the planets at the moment, I don't know what planet's going on, Gemini's retrograde or something like that, Mercury, Gemini, Mercury or something like that. But Gemini is twins and about communication. But I feel this is about how you communicate what you want in life. But some of you don't even know how to push forward to go for what you want in your life. So this is really about the energy. I feel also that things are going to be happening that um, is forcing you to pinpoint what you want. Um, it's going to seem not great, to be honest, ne negative or something. That's for only some of you. Um, but it's putting you on track. This is a test to see if you're going to be following through. Like I said, even if you're feeling stuck, some of you um, need to make that push forward to do what you want to do. I just want to say, oh, uh, I'm not being very well and I've got too fake as well as being sick. So I'll see how many uh, readings I get out this week because, uh, like I said, I'm not feeling uh, that great. And when you've got two fate, you don't really want to talk too much. Um, this is about, it's interesting because it's going back to comfort zones. And this is connected with you and your comfort zone. And same with your person. Mainly your person doesn't come towards you because you're different. And the difference is, um, takes him or her out of a comfort zone. But you have to come out of your comfort zone to do something connected with mission. And um, some people perceive mission as, for example, well, my mission is doing what I want to do. Or my mission is doing tarot. Or my mission is getting my person. I'm not here to tell you what your mission is. But if you go to the Google and define, you know, definition of mission, mission is an assignment with a group of people and it's a big assignment a tarot alone is a job getting your person is a relationship doing crystals is a job they need to define what mission is so it means coming out of your comfort zone to do what you're supposed to do and same with your person your person doesn't come near you and I feel some of you are falling back to old belief systems and comfort zone. It's always a test. It's always a test. But the test is started now because later on, they're do the planet is doing its best to push you forward to be aligned with what you are going to want to do because later on it's going to be far harder to do. Because you know the jobs and stuff, whatnots and, you know, as I say, I don't watch the news. I don't think I've watched the news for over 10 years, um, probably longer than that, 15 years maybe, I don't know. And um, I know that they haven't declared that the virus is gone. So everyone who's thinking everything's gone back to normal, I'm like, well, come on now, you know. And as I've been saying, if you're new, November, something's coming. So um, uh, something big is coming. So, uh, and, and I say that not in a good way, unfortunately. So the planets are pushing you out of your comfort zone, in short, is the energy I'm feeling. And you may feel like it's a negative or negative situations are happening. Um, some of you, I'll be honest, I'm getting this, and I don't normally say this. This is the first time I've ever said this. But some of you, some people are trying to, you know, other like spells and things on you they know your person is thinking about going towards you so protect yourself i don't normally get involved in any of that you know and say about any of that but i'm just saying that's what i'm picking up a little bit but that's not all of you and if it is there's nothing you can do with anything about it all you gotta do is just protect yourself you know and uh, uh that's it really anyway so let's jump in let's see what the cards say
Yeah, this is uh, what I'm picking up is the, the dark and the light. It's like I said, I feel like some of you, some of you are doing well and focusing on the light. Some of you are getting pulled back like, oh, you know, why isn't things happening? Why aren't things working out? Stuff like that. It's like focus on the light. It's like a, as I like to say on the channel and I give Beyonce as an example, she started, or anyone who's extremely wealthy and abundant, they start off really, um, they're not sure what's going to happen, particularly famous people. You're not sure you're going to be famous, do you? You just keep going. An accountant job is pretty much set. A secretary, a lawyer, a doctor, you can pretty much, you know, it's a set. But fame is completely different. You know, you have to do it until you really get there. That's what this is. That's how I can describe as mission. Mission isn't just a job. Mission is something you feel compelled to do. Tarot is a hobby. Unless you've got other people, it's a hobby. I'm just going to repeat that. If this was just me alone, I'm doing a hobby. When you collaborate, that's when it changes into a business. Do you think you was from 5D connected as a twin flame to do a hobby of tarot or or um, astrology or other things? Ten of wands, six of wands, this is all wands. This is about following your passion, queen of wands. But five of wands, are these are wands <laughs> and ten of swords. So ten of wands is, yeah, this is the light at the end of your tunnel. And it's like, it's doing the same with your person in different situations. Like they're like trying to show to your person to drop the burdens of his comfort zone and jump into the unknown as of you with the comfort zone and jumping into the unknown as well with the ten of wands here the first card dropping the book once you do that then you will be victorious victoriously uh, moving forward this is to do with six of wands is like um like youtube stardom or being out there uh, you know, victoriously being out there. So this is about you um, understanding that. But what stops you? I've 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 changed up. Actually, I was going to say, um, if you're insecure and stuff like that, which is quite normal, then I've got confidence, anxiety. I've got all the programs on. Uh, I've got it on my store. If it's not available on my store because I'm fixing up my website, you can get it from anyone on subscription list. There's smaller programs you can buy to invest in yourself to move forward. The Queen of Wands, yeah, this one's your person, this one's you. Queen of Wands is about going within and doing what you want to do and doing the work properly, healing yourself chakras kundalini all that kind of thing sorry i had to pause it oh, kwan came in gave me some salt water for my duvet <laughs> so this is about uh with the queen of wands uh, she has the acorn here and the acorn represents wisdom strength potential um This is about going ahead and following your, like I said, your passion while you're here. It's not just your person. That's that's. It's like that's ending because underneath the Queen of Wands is Ten of Swords. Ending, thinking about your person so much doesn't mean getting rid of your person. Just means you following your own bliss and having the strength to do that. Having the strength to, to stop fighting and that with your person. Like I said, I feel the energy now is putting you on your path, on your track. But there's, there's people, like I say, is going to either fall back to their old ways. This is about releasing comfort zone. I don't know what else to say. Ten of Wands, dropping the burden of the comfort zone. The comfort zone keeps you back. It keeps you stuck 100%. And some of you, you know, um, well, to be honest with you, all light workers, star seed, twin flames are here to show others to do more. But just believe, it's just how programmed you are of your belief and family and if you can't do it and how much you feel connected with your person if you just want them to come around and keep doing these ten of swords to you or 
you're going to push through and carry on onto your path. Five of Wands is like I just, oh, literally what I just said. Other people's interference. Both of you, you might not think so, but people are falling back into, for example, say you got into mission and you left. You went back into, oh, well, I'm just going to sell crystals, Reiki, acupuncture by myself. I'm just going to do tarot by myself. I'm just going to, you know, you're just doing a hobby. You're not doing what you're supposed to do. You're not having a business. No one on YouTube has a business unless there's a couple of you. And that don't mean you're twin flame. A business is having a, if not, you're, you're not even registered. Because most, most people don't register their twin, their, um, their YouTube is a hobby. And this is what this reading is about, understanding that you're here, the fire, the passion is for you to change planet Earth. And this is coming out of that, if not you're following belief systems, which is what is the purpose of you coming down to be victorious if you're going to go back to old ways. Um, I'm just saying that some people will, though. This is about getting you on track. It's like enough of all your person and all that, leave that to the planets. So five of wands to seven of this is standing up and defending what for what you want. It's going to be hard. Like you can ask anyone in mission now. Is it easy? No. Is it easy to do what you want to do? No. But if not, you're on default or following a belief system. I don't know what else. This reading, I repeat myself, is about coming out of your comfort zone and doing what you want to do. Well, no, it's not what you want to do, what you're supposed to do. And stop making the bullshit excuse that just doing tarot alone is what you're supposed to do. That is a fucking hobby. You're not a light worker or twin flame starseed to come down to do a huge, you're a YouTuber. This is not a YouTuber channel for me. I was getting some insurance for my son on his uh, bike, which has got stolen. They was like, oh, we can't insure you because you're a YouTuber. I was like, no, he just advertises on YouTube. It's a business, right? I said, you advertise in a newspaper. You advertise on you. This is the new way forward. I can't help it either. Sorry, I when qualms out, I tell him to phone me, but yeah, he doesn't understand that I'm recording. So anyway, so I had to keep pausing it, and I'm too ill to put stop it and start it again. So it is what it is. So, yeah, this reading is about um, having the strength to jump in. This is like the six of wands to the seven of wands. You will be victorious if you go on to it's understanding the concept of why you're here. I don't know what else to say. you got to understand why you're here. And if you're happy just being a tower reader, then you might as well just, I don't, I don't understand the concept of that. Why aren't you just a hairdresser? Why aren't you, you know, just in your 3D job? It's supposed to be, you know you're more than that. You know that you're more than that. I can't help it if the reading's that. That's what it is. And it's like, once you show to your per all I can say is what they're saying, which they don't say, is that you will see that other there's no change from union of you will see, is what they're saying. You will see there'll be no change from now to later. And you know that's of tower readers or crystal people with their person. The main thing is you want your person. You know, I want I want to help planet Earth and all that. I'm like, well, if you did, you would be in mission. You want your person. Because every all the views I get, they just want their person. And you can see, and you will see is what they're saying, but they don't say, that there will be no change unless you're in mission. The intention is not for you to come down here to get involved in other people's bullshit that creates burdens. It's for you to be victorious. And to get, and that takes strength. And this is connecting with um, this is the divine timing to do it now, because later. I can't and you know about the job situation, so I'm going to get a couple more because of. Kind of the same thing. I don't know what else to say. I'm going to do some individual signs. Look, I fear you will reject me. That's your person. And that's what I'm saying. 
you fear to go and do what you're you want to do this doesn't have to be just mission this means like defending yourself to your family about going for your wishes and desires standing up for yourself blah 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 people are coming to mission and they think they're getting the balls to leave mission i'm like no that's pussying out to go and do a job that's not to stick with someone who pushes you to be what you're here to do is courageous to leave is the pussy option oh no i'm going to stand up for myself i think it's time for me to go solo fine if you're going to go and make another mission and collaborate with others but most people as you can see from the rich they collaborate poor single tight hold back all that kind of thing this is about you fearing you fear it. You're not good enough. You can't do it. Blah, blah, blah. Comfort zone. And this is this is what the planets are trying to end now. This comfort zone. And I can't say who's going to make it, who's not going to make it, whatever. But the very least you can do is start working on yourself. If you're like, well, I don't want to jump into mission. Soon I'm going to be doing my image readings, maybe tower readings. I'm not sure, but I might be doing the tower reading again. But you're going to at least start by buying the programs, working on yourself. You don't have to go to my website and buy everything. But at the very least, you know, start working on yourself, doing the programs. Then, next stage, do counselling. don't have to jump straight into mission. But this is just waiting and expecting your person to just come on his knight in shining armour and be victorious. After you know there's a loads of bar burdens and there's other people's interference. The underneath you is like you're going to continue this ten of swords being stabbed in the back unless you go in and when you go in with the queen of wands you know why you're here just doing tarot is not enough it's a job it's a hobby it's not even a job it's a hobby just doing crystals and i just like do reiki it's just what your hobby is that's what it is i feel compelled to do this as my mission I didn't feel like doing this as a whole. I, I, I just knew I had to do it. It wasn't like I really like tarot, so I created a channel. Then, you know, you start tarot because you feel compelled to connect with higher source. That's what it is. So as a twin flame, even more, that's your passion to do, to heal this. But uh, it's up to you. I'm not here to tell you what to do. But I'm saying, but the very least, you should start, you know, your person fears you will reject them because you reject yourself. So there's a split here. You've been separated from your person. So they want to come back because there's two tens here, which is endings. So new beginnings. But like I said, it's up to you. The circle will continue if you don't stand up for yourself. You have to. And this doesn't mean cussing out your person, saying you're an idiot you know, Sophia said to stand up for myself and all that kind of thing. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'm coming out because of, um, like I said, I've got two fakes, so it's up to you. So this is like a painful ending, but a new start is coming, especially with Gemini retrograde in Mercury or something like that. But are you going to continue this new, the, the same stuff again? So um, I'm out. Check out my description box on my website. Speak to you later.